back, everyone. These days, you can't pick up a magazine without reading about the virtues of eating fish. Ironically, we're caught between wanting our oceans to remain pristine while experts tell us to eat more of it. So to learn more about how the industry is balancing global supply issues with ecological responsibility, our registered dietitian, Tina Ruggiero, flew to Norway to learn more and bring it all back for us. All the information, that is. Indeed, indeed. It was the most fascinating trip I've ever taken. And I've been to a lot of, of um, fish-producing regions. I've been to Alaska. I've been to Chile. I've never been to Scandinavia. And I didn't realize that Norway is the number one producer in the world of ocean farm salmon. Wow. So I needed to go to find out really if farm fish is harmful to the environment, harmful to consumers, or if we're hearing this rhetoric based on outdated science. So that was the reason for my trip. All right. So what did you find out when you got there? Very interesting. Bottom line is that not all farmed fish is created equal. Oh. Different countries have different rules and regulations about farming. They have different rules about cage uh, development, site selection, veterinary care, feed. But Norway is absolutely the leader in aquaculture, and I would feel completely safe putting Norwegian salmon on my table. You know, there's been a lot of stories. Well, here are some pictures. Oh, this is this. Norway. How <gasps> spectacular And you, you can see the water is clear and clean and very, very cold, which is important for these, these fish so they grow more slowly. And when they're in their cages, Norway has as a law that um, the, the water needs to take up about 90%, 95% of the cage, and the rest is fish. So you have sometimes 3 to 5% fish, the rest is water. So you can see the fish swimming and racing around and jumping. So the cages are then okay for proper growth and development? Absolutely. If the farming is done with a high degree of ecological sensitivity, mm -hmm. it is absolutely healthy for the environment, healthy for the coastal communities, and safe. What about wild caught salmon? Do they do that there or is they don't do much wild. Most is farmed. But it's interesting. People have a, a little misconception of wild. Uh, wild uh, often is really ranched. Uh, in Alaska, they do ranching. Uh, so the, the fish are babies, and they are in a cage, in a pen. They're released into the sea. And then when they come back to spawn, mm -hmm. they're captured and killed and you know sent to the store so that that's ranching which sometimes is marketed as wild so then what's better to get wild because i was always told wild is healthier in some ways um wh what should we get wild or farmed well interesting that's a misnomer farmed fish can be higher in omega-3s because of the fit the feed that's given to the fish mm -hmm. better quality fish oil um, better quality nutrients mm -hmm. and uh, again you have to know where your fish comes from so I would say to consumers ask ask at your grocery store where was this caught I would rather see people eat farmed fish than nothing at all because actually if you limit fish consumption or you avoid fish your risk of having dying from a heart attack is 10 times higher. We have a shot of you eating the fish, just to prove your yeah, point that you, you practice what you preach. You see that? What are you doing? I am eating herring, and that's for a <laughs> snack, really. I had I had fish for breakfast, lunch, and dinner. Are and you it, fished out then? I, I, I have to say, I was a little fished out. I wanted a good dish of macaroni. <laughs> but I really you're <laughs> It obviously works for well, you. Well, you know what? I'll tell you something. After having fish for two weeks straight, mm -hmm. my hair was shinier, my skin was clearer, my nails were stronger, and I thought, if I'm a science experiment, then it's been successful. The fish has, has done me good. Tina Ruggiero, <laughs> thank you very much. I'm craving fish now. <laughs> <laughs> Don't go anywhere. <laughs> Don't go anywhere. More details to come. <laughs>